What is up, YouTube? Again, we're back at it with uh, part two of the uh, mystery box in a video that we did last uh, last time. It was of the week 12 uh, scavenger hunt from Toy USA. Uh, again, we're not going to mention too much, but just that we are uh, having that giveaway. Um, we we're given a week from the last video, so by the time you're watching this, you might still have time to uh, go comment, follow the uh, Instagram page at pop.barons, and comment on the picture there as well. Um, if it's past a week, then I unfortunately missed out. Alright, well this time, Aaron's going to start opening his box since I did mine last video. Uh, again, I'm going to have pop price ready for us and we'll have the prices displayed for you at the bottom of the screen. Um, without further ado, let's get started. We did confirm that, uh, that uh, the two pots that we got in the sock protectors were on the grill page. So hopefully we can get lucky with all four of them. Um, usually it never happens to us, but usually we don't even hit two. So maybe our luck is turned. All right, it looks like I got a sock protector, regular pop, regular pop, and regular pop. So let's get this started. Tron? Yeah, Sark. Glow in the dark, nice. You can add that to our collection up there. Yep. I just added while he's finding that on the pop price guide. Oh, can't reach it. But <laughs> uh, Ultraman Glow in the Dark is up there. That was a Chase version. Uh, of Sark? Cool. Really? Yeah, that's cool. Um, so, I mean, the regular one that you have is worth $7, but the if you did get the Chase version, it's worth 13 so Okay, it's not $7. Too much. I mean, it's still good. I mean, like I said, added to our Glow in the Dark collection, box of cement. I have a feeling it's another grill box. I'm hoping, I'm hoping. Alright, let's see, let's see. Next one. Dark Mall? Dark Mall, yeah. Darth Mall, sorry. Dark <laughs> Darth Mall, um, nice. The last scavenger hunt mystery boxes that we did were the Star Wars theme. So we got a nice Star Wars collection going so far, so that's an awesome one to add to it. Um, it's the older pop, I think. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, no, that, that's awesome. Really nice pop. Usually, um, is it, you said 2011? Usually the blue Star Wars boxes are the older ones, so yeah, it's what, 2011, yeah. number 09? Yeah. Yeah, it's only worth $10. $10, okay. Not bad, that's not bad. That's an old bad. pop to be worth only $10, that's crazy. Alright, but, let's go on with the next one. Oh, Adventure Time, Princess Bubblegum, nice. Minecraft edition. I don't watch Adventure Time, but I, I think do. that's the one with the the dog, right? Jake the dog. Yeah, yeah. My, my little brothers watch that. So, so I mean, you are on a, like an excellent roll right now. So right now, those ones are, that one's worth seven dollars. Seven bucks, awesome. So. Oh. Let's see what other grill I get. Uh. We'll see. We'll and see. That uh, that box is mint as well. So that's perfect. Let's see. Let's check this out. That's the back of the bottle. Oh. I think this one is on the grill page. That is a Comic Con. No, it's, is it? No, it's no. not. Never mind. Fun exclusive. Marty McFly. Back to the Future 2. I think that one is on the grill page, to be honest. On um, He's on a skateboard or hoverboard. Something of the sorts. But, uh, yeah, I mean, there's only two in the collection. Him and Dr. Emmett Brown. So, I mean, I might have to get the He's on a hoverboard? Now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> A great job. <laughs> How much is this one? Yeah, this one's worth ninety dollars. Ninety. Okay. Cool. So, made my money back. I'm chilling. Uh, what's the other one in that collection? Uh, the Dr. Emmett Brown. Okay. Uh, nice. Nice. Cool. That's cool. I don't know what the heck Fun.com is, but I mean, that's what's up. That one is on the wow, the row right next to the Tricks Rabbit. It's on the the third, well, the second row. Okay. So, not bad. So. The two grills that we got last uh, video were, were sitting right next to each other. So hopefully this I get one... Trace Rabbit or yeah. Azula or something. I'll be, yeah. I'll be so okay. happy. So let's uh, let's cross our fingers for Robert. Wow. Let's see. All right. I'm going to have his phone ready for Pop Fresh right now and let's see him go. Here we go.
again. We got the bubble wrap again. So let me start it off. We got the common pop. That's the one in the soft protector. The common and the common. So let's start off with the commons again. Another Star Wars, Jawa. Jawa, okay. Um. Okay, there's two Jawas that look identical. Let's see. Uh. That looks exactly. Is he holding a, like a little shotgun thing? Yeah. It says 47. There's no way. What color is the box? Uh, blue. This is black. Oh, uh, that's what must be the Oh, uh, okay, okay. It's eleven dollars. Okay, $11. that's not bad. Not bad. Okay. Yeah, this one they they re-released. It was a uh, from the vault edition. So, um, eleven dollars for that one. Still, twenty fifteen pop. Uh, while he's getting the next one, uh, it doesn't look like there's any damage on the box. Here we go again with the next common. It's a Toy Freddy Walmart uh, exclusive <coughs> from Five Nights at Freddy's. Um, damage wise, I would definitely say it's mint. I don't see any problems. What are we looking at price wise here for this? For that one, we are looking at twelve dollars for the Walmart exclusive. Okay, so I don't think I'm on too much of a roll right now because those are decent value. I would say. I mean, twelve and eleven. That's only twenty-three. Yeah, yeah, but this one's probably gonna knock into thirty. All right, let's uh, get that next comment. Valkyrie. Valkyrie. This is a shared exclusive th from Thor Ragnarok. Um, wow. Yeah, shared exclusive. From 2018. Box is in, again in great condition. What are we looking at price wise? Uh, that one? Shared exclusive, $15. Yeah, so. I'm not thinking I got a grill this time, but it's all right. Let's pull it out and see. Another Game of Thrones pop. Okay. Melisandre. Melisandre, yeah. Barnes and Noble exclusive. I'm guessing probably like forty bucks. Good so. to add to the collection. Uh, oh, it's part of the Unsullied one, which I have. Oh, okay, okay. That's nice. And you got the Drogon. That's a six inch. Oh, okay. Uh, so that one, uh, it depends. Is it? So there's two of them. There's one that's translucent and one that's regular. This one is translucent. Translucent. We are looking at Barnes and Noble exclusive from 2016. Yes, sir. Uh, twenty three dollars. What's the other one worth? Sixteen. Wow. Yeah. So yeah, again, did not pull a grail this box, which is okay. Well, I mean, you got one last one, right? Yeah, so, somewhat of a grill. Okay, so I mean, we had four boxes. Three of them had grills, so I mean, that's really good odds. Um, that that's awesome. Um, cool. I'm, I'm happy with these. But I'm definitely happy with this box. Um, you happy with this box? Yeah, somewhat. <laughs> All right. Um, like I said, we got those uh, Mega uh, Con mystery boxes that they did. Uh, Toyose did. And uh, those two should be in the next couple of days, and then we'll have a video up for you guys. We got four of those as well. Um, all right. Other than that, that's it for today. Shoots.